Hi, this is about using the repeating the beam properties command. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a column. I use the beam command to create columns. Uh, I just find it easier for me. So if you check, so this is your beam macro. Right click here on the top, you can see material and coating are ticked. That means they'll come in the same the next time you create. This one here, positioning and mirroring is set to be the same. Go to naming. Nothing in the naming is ticked automatically when you open advanced steel. So, you know, usually I'll just tick model roll. But you might also want to tick lot phase. Come back in here. One, two, three, four, C. Press C four times, you get column up. Now, you want to obviously put these columns all on the on the column line when you're finished. So, let's create another one. Now, what's easier than putting them all on afterwards is you can just go up here and change this to the column command. And then when I create this column, it'll automatically come in on that layer because I have it set. Now, if I come in here to the naming, you can see it's come in as a column automatically. Now, if I create another one here, and let's say we go to naming and let's do the lot phase as lot phase one will tick the box so it'll be accounted for in the numbering and then we we'll create another one over here with the beam command we can see that it comes in automatically now if you want to turn that off just go here turn it off again or if you want to change to a beam you'll come in here and do your beam command from the node of that column. Draw a beam out here. Now you want to do the positioning. I want to set the positioning there. And I want to go to the naming and I want to name that a beam. One, two, three, four. Sorry, beam is just one time. Uh, I'll put that in phase two. And then I should have changed this. Uh, if I change this back to standard, it'll bring the beams in automatically on the beam layer. And go from the node of that, come across here, you can see the positioning is now correct because the box is ticked and the naming is correct, beam two, beam on the two lot phase. Um, hope that helps. So you'll want to select that beam and just put it on the beam layer because otherwise when you right click, when I right click and do select similar, it'll pick those beams because they're on the beam layer. If that's not on the layer, it'll stay with the columns. All right, hope that helps.